Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Amanda Ray here. If you don't know who I am, today we are going to be taking the Camaro out on a first drive with the Exidy Clutch. I'm super excited and actually I'm a little nervous because I'm so used to the OEM clutch. I'm a little nervous to see how the disc um, is going to be different. Um, it definitely feels like it has more of a kickback when I push the clutch in. Um, it basically comes back and kicks me in my face. So, um... I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up and let it warm up and I'll be back in just a few. Alrighty guys, so she is warmed up, ready to go. Um, let's just take her out for a spin on the first drive and see how this new clutch is. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. I'm very used to the old clutch. Um, so we'll see. I know when I'm driving the Evo with the the triple disc on the Evo. <laughs> I basically almost stall every time because I'm horrible at it. So I'm a little nervous about this one. Let's see. Okay. Wow, that's different. It's so different. Oh my goodness. The second's the same. gonna stall um, just starting out it feels so different um, it's crazy and it kicks back so hard um, wow <laughs> all right it's gonna take some getting used to I feel like I'm learning to drive my car all over again this is different all right let's see well, it's like I want it oh, okay we're good <laughs> we're good so it's like, I want to give it more gas because I feel like it's going to stall, but I just have to find that catching point. And um, on my my old clutch, basically, you can let the clutch almost all the way out before it will catch or stall. I taught my little brother how to drive um, on my old clutch, and uh, he didn't even stall his first time ever learning. Um, but I feel like if I put him in this car right now, it was stall guaranteed. I'm almost stalling. And uh, yeah, so it's definitely different. Probably gonna panic a little bit if I ever get on a hill until I get used to the clutch, just cause I'm like, huh. all right. So now I have to wait for an opening and I'm a little nervous cause I'm not used to the clutch. I got a big gap right here. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Did you guys hear that? Almost stalled. It's okay, we're good. takes some getting used to and now that I got a car behind me I'm like panicking I'm like oh no there's a car behind me and I'm rolling back a little bit but I just got to find that sweet spot um, but I feel like I'm learning to drive stick all over again it's a little different um, so it's just because the disc is a, a puck disc so it's skipping every time so it's wanting to catch I guess I don't know Hopefully you guys could hear me through all of that. They weren't 
too bad. But, uh, so yeah, so here it is. Stage two, Exetti ceramic clutch installed, running beautifully. Um, now we're just gonna basically break her in, um, go through the different gears, let it try and get worn in just a little bit. I do plan on taking it to the track in I think about two weeks. I think I think we decided May 14th. A bunch of my friends were gonna go. He just put a corded blower on his Audi and uh, super excited to see um, that versus either the V or this car if I feel comfortable. I've never launched this car still so it'll be uh, a learning curve, but I don't want to damage this. I've got a Camaro coming up next to me right now. Let's see if you can... Oh, he just gave me the eyeball. Okay, fine. I just got the side eye from this guy. Anyway, that's basically it. So May 14th, hopefully we'll go to the track and uh, we'll see what this car can do. I might try and convince the Ginger to bring the V. Um, and then we can do a side-by-side -side race on the way there. I probably won't race it at the track, um, just because it has to be from a roll for it to be fair. I feel like, um, he might bring his Evo, so we're not sure. But, uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna keep driving, going through the motions. Obviously, when I'm just going like this, it feels perfectly normal. There's nothing different about third, fourth, fifth, second, any of that. It's really just the starting off process that's different. Um, but overall, I'm super happy with it. It's such a simple install. I think our all right guys, so I just got to the Ginger's work. He works at Mitsubishi Motors down in Melbourne. Um, so I'm gonna start the car after it's been stopped for probably three, four minutes. Um, something's draining the battery still. I don't know what it is. It's either draining the battery or our, the starter is going bad. I can't tell, um, but it's a brand new battery. So listen to this, ready? Basically, if I stop anywhere else on the way home, the car won't start. Um, so, homebound it is. Alright, well, let's see if I stall on the way home. Hopefully not. We'll go. Bye, Tom. Anyway, so 
I'm on my way home. The car started up fairly quickly. Um, I was in the store for a little bit, so I was kind of letting it cool down per se. Um, I do think it's the starter. I don't know if letting the starter sit for a while allows it to recharge, if that's a thing. Um, but uh, I know driving the Camaro is getting easier. I'm getting used to the clutch. Um, it's so different, but I love it. It kicks back so hard. It's just so different. All right, guys, so I just got home. Overall, first drive is a success. I'm in love with this clutch. I'm getting used to it. It's getting easier. Um, I've had no issues whatsoever. It goes into all gears, no issues. So the install was perfect. Um, so I'm just amped to take it to the track after break-in and see what it can do. I'm a little nervous because I really don't want to break it right away. It's only rated to 533, um, I believe. And this car puts out more than that. So really just want to see what this clutch can do, what it can hold. And then from there, we'll move up to a twin disc and uh, we'll see what that clutch can hold. Um, until then, I will see you guys next time and make sure you guys use that promo link right here and save you some money on a clutch. I'll see you guys.